A massive controversy has erupted this time over a film, The Kerala Story, yet to be released, which shows how thousands of women from the southern state were converted to Islam and then recruited into ISIS. The film is also currently facing a backlash from political parties in the Kerala who allege it's promoting the Sangh Parivar's agenda. A detailed report. Tell me, when exactly you joined ISIS? Ever since the release of the trailer, the Kerala story has grabbed headlines. The movie has triggered a massive political controversy. Chief Minister Pinnarai Vijayan has called the film the Sangh Parivar's agenda. From but the makers of the movie have countered this claim. They say that the film is about human tragedy. The politics refuses to die down. Kerala women go there for service and for now not for ages. So, but these they want to destroy the Kerala economy because these women go and earn huge, they bring money for the development of the state and work in the Gulf country. They want to create a situation where people will be afraid to go and earn the money. It is a calculated conspiracy by the RSS, BJP in the, with the help of central government. When something is coming out of the reality, now these people want that this film should be banned and this is not the reality what they say. So I feel that the Kerala story definitely has got a truth in it because it, it was a truth that many Hindu innocent girls were uh, trapped in love jihad and were used for spreading Islam and Islam fundamentalism. Any issue, because we believe in freedom and expression and uh, freedom and choice. They are very well, they are ready to uh, welcome such movies, whether against or favor. But they must show the number. Until they submit the list of the number of uh, converted women, it should be banned. But the big question is, where are the flag bearers of the freedom of expression now? Bureau Report, Republic TV.